Hey, welcome back to Feral Art, or welcome to Feral Art. Um, how you doing? Mm. Let's see. Today is a big day. <coughs> Here we are back at the 1000 Below collab. This is a revisit for me. Um, graduated from there, I don't know, some months ago. Anyway, this is a celebration for five people who are graduating from the collab. We have Janice and Joanne and Kathy and Tonya and Shannon, who are all graduating. So yay, you guys, congratulations. Also, it's a celebration for Tracy, who founded this collab a while ago. I don't remember exactly how long, but Yay, Tracy! Look what you did. You helped so many people. That's amazing. So, let's see. Tracy, the aforementioned Tracy, was right before me. So, go back and see her if you didn't. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, Janice from Just Janice is right after me. So, there you go. You know where to go. I'm telling you where to go. How you like that? Um, <coughs> let's see. What else? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. There is a playlist in my description box. My colors are also in my description box. Colors for this collab are colors that needed to start with the same letter as name, the letters in your name. So, I have Kelly Green, the bright one. I have TLP Emerald. TLP Latte, a TLP Lakeside, and Yale Blue, which is a custom color. Um, my base color is Vallejo Pearl Medium with just a touch of um, Chromacryl White in it for effects. So, um... These are all mixed with Kathleen Osmore of Cos Creations um, PM mixture, which I will also put in the description box. There's always a lot of stuff in the description box, you guys. If you would be bothered to read it, you would just see so much interesting stuff. So, um, without further ado, let's get down the canvas and make it happen. My poor old tripod getting old and kind of limp said. I'm also using a cell activator. Um, I haven't quite decided whether I'm going to use Prussian blue or black, so we will see. Let's get this base coat down. Here we go. Now I'm just going to take some of these. I have these little pipettes. Let's put on some paint in them. And we are going to drop. kind of minimalist. I did not want it right square in the middle, so we're just going to see where this goes. Um, I think I'm going to use black and white and put on a black. White. Okay, so we're gonna do dots and swipe. Whoopsies.
worlds are falling apart Right now you don't know where to start Right now the walls are caving in Right now you don't know where to begin Right now you're searching high and low And right now you don't know where to go Right now you hear the thunder roar Right now it feels like you lost the war Call on me I'll get you down. Hey, here are the wet results of my little <coughs> thousand below revisited dotted swipe thing. I think this is cool because it looks like a frozen pond with a crack. You can see down into the water, maybe. I don't know. I just think it's cool. Whole lot of white background. I wanted this to be minimalistic, which it kind of is. <laughs> There's more to it than I had planned, but it was just hollering at me that it wasn't done. And, you know, when your paintings holler at you, you gotta listen. So, anyway. We have all these little split crack things here. What is that? What was that? Right there. Um, <laughs> everything that you see is magnified like a billion times. I'll have to come over with tweezers and see if I can't find that stuff again. But anyway, this is our swipe at work. Look at that caterpillar. That's nuts, man. Um, the swiping really does kind of go nuts on the Chroma Curl White. I've noticed, even though there's not very much Chroma Curl White in here, it still is very reactive. So, anyway, there we go. Cells, lacing, man-made cracks, Kelly-made cracks, whatever. And I'll see you in a bit. Our whole background is shimmery. It's very pearly. That's what I had in mind. That's why I use that Vallejo Pearl Medium. I don't know what those little spots are. That's nuts. Anyway, I really like that. And then we get into this, which is just piggy full. Look at that. Wow. Yes, ma'am. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So anyway, that's really nice. I like that. I love, I love, love, love when the whole thing just shimmers sometimes. That's why I wanted for my swipe to be rather simplistic because of all the shimmer, which I would say we got 
in spades. I will see you when this is dry. Here are the drawn results of my swipe for the Thousand Below collab, we are, where we are celebrating Tracy for being the originator of this collab, and also we are celebrating the current graduates. So congratulations, you guys, on getting your thousand subscribers, and thank you, Tracy, for coming up with this lovely idea. Uh, Tracy was before me. Janice is after me. There is a playlist in my description box. Let's get in here. I put a little rhinestones on this because I thought it was just a little plain. And I think they look really cute. And I'm trying to get out of my own light. And there we go. And there's my swipe. I just really wanted something a little more minimalistic feeling. Um, I love minimalism. I don't often practice it. Um, but after I got done, I was like, ah, it needs a little something. So I stuck these little rhinestones on here and then gave it a couple of good coats of Rust-Oleum Triple Thick. Um, got some really nice lacing and a few cells in here. And it reminds me... <laughs> makes me think about if somebody went out on an icy lake and the ice broke and you can see down into the water. I guess those uh, rhinestones are all little air bubbles, huh? Anyway, I think it looks really cute with the, the rhinestones and you probably can't even see the bling of them, but they are very blingy and cute. So anyway, thanks for coming along and hanging out with us today and helping us celebrate those that need celebrating. And uh, before you go, make sure that subscribe button is pushed. Give me a thumbs up if you like this painting. Leave me a comment because I love talking to y'all. And I will see you next time.